Hello and welcome to this episode everyone. In this episode, I want to talk about Virtual Network Interface Card or VNIC. So I have an illustration in here. I want to show you that we have a hypervisor. This is a hypervisor and it is a real computer. So basically the hypervisor is the real computer that has the, the physical aspects. It has the hardware, it has the a network interface card, the memory, the RAM, the CPU, and everything is basically on the hypervisor. It has the physical aspect of a computer. The virtual machines are computers. They are machines, they are computers, but they are virtual. It means that they reside inside the hypervisor. They don't have a physical aspect to them, and they are literally, virtually living inside the hypervisor. But the operating systems inside the vir virtual machines, they don't understand that they are living in the hypervisor. They think that they are a computer on their own and they have the real hardware they possess. They think that they have RAM and CPU and network interface card and all of these hardwares actually belong to them. And they are not aware of any type of virtualization. So. You know that usually the hypervisor, it, it will usually have one network interface card. It might have uh, more than one interface card uh, for redundancy purposes, but for our purposes, we assume that it has one network interface card because usually all of the computers, they have one in network interface card. Now, the virtual machines that they reside inside the hypervisor, how they want to access this network interface card or how they want to access outside if they want to browse to the internet or anything out of their system, how they want to access that. This is where the virtual network interface card comes in. The virtual network interface card is basically a software. It's not a real network interface card. It's not a card. It's software that acts, virtually acts as a card. It has its MAC address, it has its IP address, and all of these uh, protocols. It supports the protocols and it understands the protocols. And it's basically communicating with the actual network interface card of the hypervisor to carry out any communication that's happening between these virtual machine among themselves and also uh, any communication that's happening outside of the hypervisor. Well, uh, the question comes in that how this happens, because a, a hardware can only access by one operating system. You cannot have multiple programs and uh, operating systems and uh, software access one hardware at the same time, because it's not possible, because there will be synchronization issues and everything, and Basically, the virtual machines will fight with each other to be able to access the network interface card. And there comes the hypervisor itself, which has an operating system, and it also wants to use the network interface card. Well, that is a question that I want to answer for you in the next episode. There is some mechanisms here in between that manages the allocation of resources of this network interface card to the virtual machines. And that comes in the next episode. But for now, understand that a virtual network interface card is basically some type of software that shows to the operating system that the operating system or the computer or the virtual machine has a network interface card and it is, and it is able to communicate with the outside world. But that network interface card is not real, it is virtual, it is software, and it is virtually communicating with the actual network interface card of the hypervisor to facilitate the communications. I hope this clarifies a virtual network interface card for you, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, and I will be very happy to answer it for you or create another video on this topic. That's it for this episode, everyone. I hope to see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.